Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are doing part two of my kitchen makeover. We're gonna be working on this side of the kitchen and kind of tying in the island that we did the last video. So um, first things first, you gotta clear everything off of this before we started uh, tearing everything off of the walls. Um, it's kind of crazy that the last time when we did all of this, um, it cost way more <laughs> for all of this peel and stick stuff that did not last. Um, we did this back about four years ago that did the tile and we did the peel and stick stuff, vinyl stuff on the island and painted the cabinets. It was about $250 when we did all of that. Um, which is still pretty affordable, especially if you're like a renter or anything like that, that's totally doable. Um, but this, we came in budget about $80 for everything. And I'm so excited and I was so happy with how everything turned out, um, especially keeping it on a lower budget and making this kitchen my absolute dream kitchen right now. <laughs> I absolutely love how everything turned out, but I'm gonna kind of give you a step-by-step -step process of everything and all of the items that we used. Um, I had to clear everything off the island first and foremost, and then we, have, we wrapped this backer board or the backsplash um, the last time we did that, that way it kind of looked like one piece. Um, but I had to take all of that off so we could unwrap it and put it back up again. Um, this was kind of the biggest pain right here is taking off all of the adhesive on the countertops. Um, it, it, that stuff really did stick. But again, like I mentioned in the last video with it getting bumped um, around the edges and um, especially in this corner, like the, the corner piece that we had wrapped around there, um, it just started to crack and peel up. So uh, it was definitely time. It lasted about four years um, and we probably could have went a little longer with it, but it was just time to do a nice change in here. So, but yeah, this peeling this stuff off was such a pain because it didn't come off in little pieces. As you can see, it comes off in super tiny chunks and it takes forever. <laughs> and then you have a bunch of adhesive uh, laying around. So the best thing that I found was to have the heat gun readily available, especially to start peeling it off around the edges and then kind of work your way into the middle. So that kind of helped me with that. And as you've seen, the backsplash came down super easily. Um, I started from left to right and they all just kind of overlap. So they just all kind of peeled off together. Uh, it did damage the wall <laughs> a little bit, um, but that's okay. We were gonna cover it up anyways. So but yeah, I'm gonna finish taking off all of this um, peel and stick off of the countertops and then we're going to move on to the next step. So now that I have all of the adhesive off this backer board, um, I'm going to reattach it and line everything up and then caulk it in. Um, and then that way we can start on the actual backsplash that's going to go all the way up to the cabinets and also around the windows. Now we're gonna actually work on the actual backsplash. So I have this Rust-Oleum. Um, it is a matte uh, sealant, a matte clear coat sealant. So because this is a piece of paneling that we got at Menards for $31, <laughs> so super cheap and affordable. 
um, and it's it's paneling so I wanted to make sure it was nice and sealed so I gave it a really good coat I used a whole can of, of this uh, sealant stuff and then I came back after it dried and did another coat of it with another can um, so I really wanted to make sure that it was really good and to go especially around the outlets and especially the sink the edges I just really wanted to make sure that it was nice and sealed so I'm just gonna start putting these up like a puzzle piece my husband pre-cut everything for me so it was just like putting a puzzle together um, he did a great job of making sure everything fit and all the seams kind of lined up so he did great <laughs> but it made things for me a lot easier um, so now we're just going to continue around the other side and get all of these pieces put together So I did go around with a tube of silicone just to seal everything where the backsplash meets the backer board um, just so it's no water can get in there too. So um, yeah, this is how it all came out. And now we're gonna get started on painting the cabinets. So I'm using Fantastic because it is a degreaser and it's in the kitchen. I just wanted to make sure everything was nice and clean. Um, and that the paint would really stick to a nice clean surface. So I ended up using two coats uh, just so I knew it was good coverage. I went in with a small paintbrush to do around the edges and the trimming part um, and all of the kind of small divots that the roller just wouldn't get into and just going to town with it. <laughs> it was a very long process. We were working on four days of doing the kitchen, so um, but it was totally worth it. I absolutely love <laughs> this color of paint and how it kind of ties in, especially with the white countertops now and that backsplash. It just, it just makes it so pretty in here. And as much or as dark as the paint is, it feels lighter in here. Um, just, I don't know, I love the combination. So anyways, I'm just gonna continue to paint around and do every little section as we get to that and then reattaching the doors and putting the um, hardware back on there. But yes, this was definitely a long process, but totally worth it. So if you missed in my last video, the color that I am using is called Thyme Green, um, like the spice, um, and it is a cabinet paint. So when it goes on and it sets and hardens, it's like it was, that's the color of the cabinets. Um, it doesn't look like it's been painted on. It forms like this hard kind of seal on it, like an enamel. Um, so definitely worth it. It is from, where did we get this from? Oh, Home Depot, Home Depot. Um, and I just got a quart of paint. It did it the whole side, a quart of paint, and I still have half a can left. So definitely worth it. Um, it was $24 for the can. And like I said, that's all I needed. But yeah, this time green just goes so well with everything that I have going on now. And I just love the combination of how the green ties in with the whites and the backboard. It just makes me happy. But now we're gonna get started on decorating and putting everything back, all my everyday decor. I did switch some things around here um, and I think I like it so much better. So that's what we're gonna do now is just continue the decorating and putting everything back in place. Now we're gonna have a quick puppy break because oh my goodness I love him so much he loves to be held like a baby <laughs> he's almost 30 pounds at four months um, so we think he's gonna be 
maybe a medium to large breed dog. We don't know what he is yet, but yeah, I can't hold my other dogs because they're 60 pounds or else they probably would let me, <laughs> but he gets a few more holds before um, he's too heavy to, to handle. But now we're gonna start on this side of the counter and kind of work our way to the center since we already did the far left-hand side. Um, I get questions on that box. I made it. Um, I know there's, it's like the Hobby Lobby dupe of the kitchen counter box. I don't even know what it is, but um, I've had it up on my counter for quite some time, probably since I started YouTube <laughs> and doing my DIYs before, which I probably am going to start doing again, um, just so we can have a variety of more decorating and maybe even cooking videos and of course the DIYs. So that's kind of how this channel grew is me doing the DIYs. So I'm kind of wanting to start bringing that back. Um, I just got tired of it. <laughs> so, but now I've kind of got the itch to be creative again. So, um, you'll probably start seeing a little bit more. But anyways, this is how the whole side came out um, with the cabinets and the backsplash and all of the decor out. I love it. It just looks so cottagey to me because um, we do live in a cottage in the country. So, um, it just kind of fits the whole aesthetic of the house and. Oh, I'm, I could not be happier with how it turned out. I'm just so in love with it. And it's a place that I definitely want to hang out in more. And I'm enjoying the cooking more. Um, so yeah, I just absolutely love it. But now we're gonna put this rug down again. Um, if you, I've had this rug forever, but it is two rugs together. I could not find one that was wide enough or long enough for what I wanted. I just didn't see anything that I actually liked. These are from Dollar General. They were $10 a piece, which is super affordable. And then I just put Gorilla Tape on the back of the seam um, and then laid it down. But this is how the whole kitchen looks now with the painted cabinets. I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, if you did, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.